I think you have so many people, whether it's through Trackhouse, uh, they made the announcement a couple weeks ago, you and I are joining KHI management to more or less get mentored by one of the greatest of all times, as well as help with a lot of other business stuff. Who has been a couple of those people? Because you have to weed out a lot of the noise, right? Because everybody's going to tell you what to do. Everybody's going to tell you what restaurant to go to. Everybody's going to tell you what cone you should lift at. But who are the people <laughs> where like you really focus and are trying to apply what their what their opinions are? Yeah, there's a well, there's a lot of people. You know, Kevin Kevin Harvick's been great so far. Just lots of little basic stuff that I've never thought about. And my crew chief at Corlick, Bruce Schlicker, like all that, just the basic stuff like coming down pit road, what to look for, and you know the rules about driving through pit boxes, stuff I don't really know. But um, and also Marcus, Marcus has been great. Um, a few months ago, he sent me like a whole list of things just for what I should be used to and how to fit in, how to sit you know, and relax in the car rather than, you know, fighting it and just lots of little things of, and Marcus has been great because he's just, you know, it was 15 years ago or whatever, but he's done this transition that I'm doing. So he's been through it and, you know, you get lots of little pieces of advice from everyone. You just, you learn pretty quick who to listen to and not, not to listen to. What are some, what are some big hitters that Marcus is telling you? Cause I've always said that Marcus was an underrated dude carrying on shouldering rpm when they were at the bottom bro marcus yeah. ambrose was damn good but he didn't get yeah he, did, he didn't get he did, it was the when timing. the equipment was like the, the equipment was obviously now it's way closer with the cars but it was just so much vastly different he was behind the eight ball just with equipment for sure i think yeah. then he set the he tried set the track record in michigan still it was like 212 miles an hour like the guy is an absolute animal the tasmanian devil if you will so what are some things that marcus is kind of like big hit items like Hey, don't go to this bar after the race. It gets a little scary. Like, what, like what are some things that he's telling? You? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was mainly all driving stuff, like how to feel the car set in the corner. And I even felt it at Daytona, like, you know, we driving with a steering box, how you're driving down the straight and the car's kind of loaded to the right. Then as you turn in, n- nothing kind of happens, you know, and then the steering box kind of kicks in and you feel the car load up on the tire. Just, um, there's, it's only you know you're still flat into the corner there but there's that small moment where nothing happens where you have a bit of a oh is this thing going to turn you know yeah just stuff like that um to be be prepared for let the car sort of work underneath you and i think especially these xfinity cars without the downforce you kind of just got to let the car do the work because you're reacting to all these little things and by the time it by the time you correct it and catch up you know it's it's already happened way behind you. You got to kind of let the car flow a bit. So, uh, to, lots of little things, and then just, you know, mainly being comfortable. Like these races are longer than anything I've ever done before. Especially when I go and do the double on the Coke 600 weekend. Like that's um, it's a thousand miles of racing, and normally the longest race I do is a thousand kilometers, and we have another driver to help me through it. So. I don't know so, how many. I don't know how okay. long a thousand kilometers. Is. What is that? We're one thousand percent the standard <laughs> measuring system here. Yeah, um, six hundred miles probably.